up a fat today I'm going to make some passion fruit juice so I want to share with you guys how I make this juice and before I start guys I want to say thank you to all my subscribers who've been with me from the beginning and I want to also welcome all the new ones who have joined me uh, I really really appreciate you guys this is one of my favorite favorite drinks and you know I grew up having this as a child and for some reason I never stopped loving it. I happened to find these in my local supermarket. I was so excited and I thought, oh, I gotta get this. I was just so happy to find them. First thing I'm going to do is to cut this in half. Then I'm gonna remove the seeds. I'm actually using the magic bullet. I'm not using the regular blender because it's not a lot. So I don't need a big blender. Now you're gonna see the juice. Sometimes it just oozes out, but look, that's what it looks like inside. It's nice and yellow with the little black seeds. You have the, the pulp and then the little black seeds inside of that pulp. And this is where all that juice is, is in the pulp. So we're gonna take it out and put in the little magic bullet. You can see the juice, it smells so good. It's It tastes sour, but the smell is sweet smelling. It doesn't smell like anything like it would be sour. It just smells like it would be really sweet, almost like a mango scent. When I bought this, the lady at the supermarket, she was asking me, oh, what is that? And what do you do with it? And I had to explain everything. So I hope she, if she sees my video, then she'll know because they were all curious about what it was. I think she said they went online to check it out but they had no idea. They thought you just cut it and eat it. I'm like, I don't think that's gonna taste all that good. If you try to eat it like that, it's gonna be really sour. I have two of them in there and you see all the juice in there. What I'm gonna do next is add some water to that. Okay, look at that. It has that milky color to it. That's because of the blending. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to strain it. And I want to double strain it. I don't want it because now by this time, the little seeds are really crushed, really fine. So what I'm doing after is use a fine strainer and strain it a second time. I'm going to use a regular strainer and strain it. And just going to stir that up. You see it's coming out there. Now I'm just gonna pour a little water because I wanna get all that flavor from the seeds. Okay, so we're just gonna add a little water to that and then this is what it looks like. So these are the seeds, guys. Now I'm gonna get rid of that and I'll repeat the process with the other two. Second strain, and now I'm doing my job that I'm gonna actually leave it in and you see this strainer is very fine so it's going to catch all the little pieces of seeds i wish you could smell that it is smells so good dominica actually produces a lot of passion fruit it's one of our favorite drinks in dominica and uh you know we we love it we just love it and for so long, I couldn't find it here. I mean, sometimes people come when they visit, they bring some, but it's so, it was such a nice thing to find it. For those of you who don't know where I live, I'm in Canada, in Ontario, but I'm not in a big city. I'm in a small town, I'm in the country. And uh, in the country, it's not as multicultural as in the big city. So that's why we don't get a lot of ethnic foods. When I see something like this in my local supermarket, I get excited. So that's why, okay guys, and I just gonna wait to show you my passion fruit. It's very concentrated. I'm gonna fill it up and uh, just dilute it a bit. Look at the color guys, it is so pretty. Now is it orange or is it yellow? I don't know, it's in between. Next step, I'm gonna put some sugar. I don't want it too sweet. I'm trying to watch my weight here. 
while I'm doing this, I just want to say again, thank you. Thank you for supporting me for all these years. We are almost at 3,000 subscribers. If you've been watching for a while, guys, just hit that subscribe button and also help us to reach that mark. You know, it's really give us a thumbs up and also leave a comment. It really helps us get to that next level. So thanks again, guys, for your loyal, loyal support. Okay, I'm going to stir it up. That thing smells so, so good. I forgot to mention too, there's also a purple one. I think the purple one is the same as this. It's sour, it's not sweet. So if you see them and you buy them, try not to bite into it because it's not going to be a pleasant taste. <laughs> Only the orange ones, really orangey color, that's the sweet ones and they are so sweet. So this is it. And this is what I've been waiting for to try this. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Nice glass with ice cubes. And this is how you do it. Cheers, guys. I'm going to take a sip for you. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is so good. Oh, reminds me of my childhood. Just reminds me of the Caribbean, of that fresh air, good food, <laughs> tropical fruits, and the whole lot. Cheers. Until next time, have yourselves a great day and God bless.